English teacher Ms. Dian Nur Hidayati, and my beloved first audience and everybody here. Good morning all, how are you today? Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Before I begin to give a speech, I would like to invite you to thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Almighty, who has given us mercy and blessings so we can meet together in this blessing place. And also, I don't forget to deliver salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who has brought us from the darkness to the brightness so we are always in the right way. I would like to introduce myself. My full name is Nikan Mega Utami. You can call me Nikan. And let me say thank you to the English lecturer, Ms. Dia, who has given an opportunity to deliver a speech on the topic of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, and my beloved ones, I would like to deliver my speech about nature. So here in the front of you, I was to deliver a speech on nature, so that we can inform ourselves of the most important things and make our place. It is not just our living surrounding, but the whole world a better place to live in. We all felt under them. Yes, our environment is the fountainhead of life. It's not only diet, but also determines the sustenance. The development and growth of the living species and all their activities. The quality of our social lives direct relation to the quality of our living environment. Our lives as human beings start on this planet Earth and since, and since then our Mother Earth, or Indonesia called Ibu Pertiwi, has been exposed to external threat of, the, of destruction or mistreatment. Due to the inherent selfish nature of human beings, beautiful forests have been destroyed, rafts have been polluted, and fast open land have been pushed so for building factories or other architectural development. Human beings are necessarily involved in such activities at hand as hunting down animals, cutting down streams, releasing potion gas in the atmosphere, polluting river and etc. We do not even realize that we are invoking the anger of Mother Earth and are putting our existence under safer threat. Or are it literally experiencing several straws of destruction activities due to which the river beds are going dry, plants are dying and species of mammals have become extinct. Yet another the problem that mm. the world is grabbing with in today's time is global warming, which has serious impact on our environment as melting down of gla glacier, rising sea level and the chance of swimming and a fast pace, so we almost keep a chance on our activities and help to bring such situation under control. Even if skills and technology has taken a great sway over our lives, we must not forget to as living species as still need to adapt our, to our immediate natural surrounding for our sustenance. Human civilization is rooted in this ecosystem and our action directly impact the system. With the help of technology advancement, Human beings have become endowed with the capacity to control his or her environment to a certain extent. But its environment used result in an ecological crisis and warranted technological intervention to control the force of natural his environment in world in various forms, such as tsunami, floods, droughts, hit a west, wet war, and etc. Ladies and gentlemen, now the question comes how we can keep a check on our activities. Well, it will not require a lot of from you. For instance, water is an important natural resource. So we sold ourselves every drop of water by turning off the tap when not in use and not unnecessarily using flush or shower as death resulting in the excess wastage of water. Then do not throw your bed in the rivers or drain is in these activities pollute our water bodies. As far as protecting our plants is concerned, do not use chemical pesticides and switch to home remedies or to various other as friendly means. Likewise, save your energy consumption, switch off the power button when no one is in the room. Do not use personal vehicles when public transportation can be used. In fact, 
You can even use bicycle from small stone and protect your environment from the harmful releases of gas. Thus, through this simple yet effective measure, you can contribute greatly towards saving our modern nature from further exploitation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take a place in it from today on where we are going to give our best contribution toward helping our our modern nature and it is not a seasonal and it is our duty because if we want to enjoy living in nature, then we have to do something today and there is no time for leaving it in tomorrow. There are no financial solutions for this ecological problems and no is it is in our hands. That's whether we want to survive and enjoy nature or whether we want to get exchange out of this world. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, I would just say that do not keep this information to yourself and spread the message around so that every person can become a responsible global citizen and help in saving our planet. Farewell ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of my speech. Thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.